Do you believe in magic? I love to dream of fantastic worlds full of mermaids, unicorns, and fairies that fulfill all your wishes. If you think you are a little too old to believe in mythological creatures, let me tell you, that these magical beings do not only live in the imagination of young children. Believe it or not, many cryptids, and mythical creatures have actually existed, and have a real-life explanation. Doesn't that sound fabulous? I bet, now you want to believe in magic again. I invite you to enter with me into an enchanted world, full of mythical animals that turned out to be real. Dare to discover the different mythical creatures that may exist and where to find them. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned, hiding throughout the video. The Monster Sea Serpent and the Giant Rowing Fish If you are scared of snakes and the ocean, get ready to meet your worst nightmare. The sea serpent is a mythological creature, that is as old as history itself. But, it may be that these sea snakes that many people have seen are just fish. Of the coast of California, the giant rainbow fish was discovered in 2013 by an oceanography instructor named Jasmine, while diving on Santa Catalina Island. The incredible fish was as long as a giraffe, but its species can be as big as the Hollywood sign. If you are afraid of encountering one of these fish, remember that they do not swim on the surface, they always observe you from the depths. The Real Phoenix Surely you have heard the famous saying rise like a phoenix. If you don't know what it means, I'll tell you. The phoenix is a majestic mythical bird that is part of the Chinese and Egyptian mythologies. The phoenix never dies, instead, it is covered in an intense fire that does not burn it, that causes it to be reborn. Although it is hard to believe, you can see a phoenix if you go to your nearest zoo. Many experts believe, that flamingos is the origin of the phoenix myth. The flamingos build a mound on the Bonneville salt flat to lay their eggs. When you look at these nests from a distance, you will see that the heat wave that surrounds them is very similar to the one we see around the fire. This may have been the beginning of the wonderful legend of the phoenix. Cyclops Cyclops are one of the best-known mythological creatures in the world. In Greek mythology, they are described as giant creatures with one eye in the center of their foreheads. They were brothers of the Titans, children of the sky god Uranus, and the goddess of Earth, Gia. If you remember the stories of the Iliad and the Odyssey, you will know that Odysseus encountered a fearsome Cyclops, who devoured many of his men during their journey. The most terrible thing about these beings, is that many believe that there is evidence that they existed, skulls with a single eye hole in the center of the face. But, luckily for all, these skulls belong to a species of dwarf elephants, and the opening of the eye was actually the nose of the small animal. We can be calmer now. The next time you travel to the islands in the Pacific Ocean of Borneo and Java, you will meet dwarf elephants, who are as tall as a horse. Those described in the Iliad were brought to the island of Cyprus by traders of the exotic of that era. Giants Giants are part of the mythology of most peoples, Greek mythology speaks of tribes of giants, sons of Hea. And, even in the Bible, they tell us about the famous giant Goliath, who was defeated by David. Have you ever wondered about the origin of these creatures? It is not as magical or remote from reality as you would imagine. Today and forever, there has been a genetic mutation that causes gigantism in people. So, we have world records like the tallest man and woman in the world, and I bet you don't think they are magical creatures, they are just people like you and me. Banshees When we think of fairies, we imagine some playful and haunted little creatures that can play tricks on us. Banshees are totally different Irish fairies. They are young, and beautiful women who come to warn you that a loved one will lose their life. But do not fear or hate them, they do not want to threaten you, they want to warn you in time, so you can say goodbye to your family. The Banshees myth may have arisen from the Irish keening tradition. The keeners, were women hired to sing wails to mourn those who died at funerals. The richest families had many keeners, and it was begun to be believed that they were fairies, who could predict the death of members of their clans, even if they were far away. Kappa One of the oldest, and most mythical monsters in the region, lives in Japan and you have surely heard of it. Its name is Kappa, it looks like a fish or turtle, the around the height of a small child. Only that, the children do not have scales, teeth and sharp claws. Rumors indicate that the Kappa devours animals and humans that are approaching the banks of the river. But rest assured, this is all just a myth. 
All thanks to the biologist Jeremy Wade, who in an episode of his program River Monsters dedicated himself to looking for where the myth of the Kappa really came from. From the Japanese giant salamander. An amphibian giant of great weight and size. Its large teeth and sharp claws are not a myth, so be careful the next time you are in Japan near a river. The Mythical Dragon Who has ever wanted to see a dragon flying through the skies at some time in their life? We all love dragons, they are without a doubt one of the most powerful mythological creatures we know. For many years, scientists have wondered about the origins of the magnificent dragon, thinking of extinct giant crocodiles or stegosaurus as possible candidates. But, a strong candidate for this election is the Komodo dragon. This large and poisonous reptile is native to Indonesia and is a predator par excellence. Unfortunately, they are in danger of extinction because of us, something similar to the legends of dragons that were hunted by humans until their extinction. The Griffin In ancient Egypt, there was a creature feared by all, it was in charge of protecting the great treasures and symbols that meant power and wisdom. Half eagle, and half lion, the griffin is a legendary beast with the power of the two formidable predators, its claws and sharp beak made it fearsome to anyone. But historian Adrian Mayer has said that the griffin may actually come from gold miners, who discovered ancient fossils of a dinosaur called Protoceratops, which had four legs and a powerful beak. The griffin may have arisen from the idea of a giant dinosaur, although the griffin sounds scary, the Protoceratops was a herbivore. The Centaur The Centaur comes from Greek mythology. It is a strange half-human, half-horse hybrid that rides freely across the land like a wild horse. It is not so strange for us to see images of centaurs in art and literature because we know that they were part of an important mythology. But, imagine what the first people who saw or believed to see this creature thought, must have been very confused. The myth of the centaurs is believed to have been born from the encounter between a primitive, sedentary culture, and another nomadic culture mounted on horseback. Imagine the surprise of sedentary culture when seeing these strange men, who had a horse instead of legs, anyone could have been confused. The Fairies Fairies have surely been the most famous mythological creatures throughout history, but did fairies really exist at some point in history? Or are they based on some strange ancient animal? The Moros and Moras were very popular supernatural spirits in Galicia, Spain, who lived in forests, near rivers or on sandy beaches. Its existence can be related to ancient Celtic mythology, but it is not its only source of inspiration. Fairies are extremely beautiful beings, with long hair, and covered by nature itself, who are in charge of protecting the forests and the creatures that inhabit them. Fairies are very similar to nymphs, beautiful women who can be seen in the depths of caves, near rivers, and who sometimes hide great treasures. Believing in these beautiful mythological beings is not entirely far-fetched, since, in certain cities on the Atlantic coast of Spain and Portugal, there is a certain belief in the relationship between our world and the spiritual world. El Chupacabras The Chupacabra is one of the most modern cryptids that we know, also one of the most feared. A scary creature full of scales, with a powerful jaw and that feeds on the blood of our chickens, cows and, of course, our poor goats. It is without a doubt the worst nightmare for farmers. This creature was first seen in the 1990s in Puerto Rico and from that moment it began to be seen throughout North America, Central America and South America. But there is good news, some scientists have explained that these chupacabras are actually coyotes, suffering from a rare skin infection, giving them their scaly appearance. It's not about blood-sucking monsters, just hungry animals displaced by farmers. The Kraken It is one of the most fearsome creatures of the seven seas, a true terror for ocean sailors, the Kraken. The stories of the sailors and their encounters with the Kraken have navigated through history. But did the Kraken ever really exist? Some claim that the Kraken is just an exaggeration of the giant squid, a rare animal that is afraid of photographs. Its size is almost that school bus and its weight like that of two large polar bears, capable of facing a sperm whale. Its large size, makes them so scary and intimidating, but it really is a very shy, lonely animal and does not interact with humans. So you can navigate to sea calmly, no kraken will attack your crew. The Unicorn, the Rhinoceros, and the Narwhal We all love unicorns, 
They are creatures that make us think of magic and the rainbow. I am sure you would love to know the origin of that creature. The Elasmotherium was a species of rhinoceros that had a single large horn on its forehead. There is evidence that this ancient rhino existed alongside humans, making it possible that memories of this creature, passed down from generation to generation, have turned it into the Chinese unicorn known as Xi. On the other hand, the European unicorn was born from a book by the Greek historian Tejas, who combined a donkey with a rhino and an antelope to create it. The Roman naturalist Elian added the final feature, a spiral horn similar to that of the narwhal. The downside of this was, that the narwhal horns were mistaken for unicorn horns, and people started hunting the poor animals for their horns and its magical powers. As you could see, not all the myths and legends we know are as crazy as they seem. Many of these magical creatures have their origin in creatures that exist or existed at some time, in natural phenomena or cultural traditions. Magic arose from the reality of ancient cultures seeking an explanation for everything that happened to them. Without magic we would not have science and without science we could not have reached the point where we are today. So, don't be ashamed of believing in magic and mythical creatures, you can already tell all your friends that these creatures do have real explanations. Thank you very much for watching this video, and see you next time. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe, so you can get instant notifications for all our new videos.